Hello everyone! So today's video request is about how you can use Canva as a photographer. So you're a photographer and you've got some awesome shots and you're thinking about what else you can do with them, especially on Canva. Perhaps these are some things you want to try. But of course, it all comes down to you and you have all the right to do whatever you want to do with your photos. But if you're looking for ideas, then here are a few things you might want to try out. Number one is to become a contributor. What does it actually mean to become a contributor? Well, it means you're going to upload your photos to certain platforms or websites, and in this case, Canva, which would allow people to use your photos in their designs. We're going to talk about becoming a Canva contributor now. So as you may know, uh, let's try to go to the elements section. And yeah, as you may know, Canva is very well known for their wide library of elements. Many of those elements were created by people who uploaded their works to Canva for people to use. If you want to learn more about this, then you can go to canva.com slash contributors slash and it'll redirect you to this Canva webpage. As of the moment, as you can see on this yellow prompt right here, unfortunately, Canva has paused their contributor program. Let's try to read it, zoom it in so you could see it better. There. Due to the popularity of our contributor program, we have paused new signups. If you would like to contribute elements in the future, please come back later. It may not be available for now, but in case you're interested in signing up, you can always go back after a few weeks or after a couple of months and then sign up with Canva for this program. And this is the button that you're going to click in order to sign up for that. So we're going to go down, scroll down and learn more. So how does it work? We have step number one, sign up. Become a contributor with a single click. Hobbyists or pro, it doesn't matter. We'd love to have you. That's so nice of Canva. Let's go to number two, upload your work. Upload your elements either individually or as a collection. Canva will review them and they will get back to you within a few days. And finally, number three, everybody's favorite part, start earning. Earn every time users use your item when they design in Canva. Isn't that great? So let's continue to scroll down. What can I sell in Canva? You can sell a wide range of items in Canva from photos and graphics to animated stickers and videos. Since you're a photographer, the best option for you would be to sell your photos in Canva. And if you also take some videos, then go ahead and sell that, sell those as well. So why should you contribute? So there are so many reasons why you should do it. It's incredibly fast, so it's easy for you to submit your content with simple, simple guidelines you could follow that ensure your work has the best chance of success. You'd be able to earn more easily. Fair and clean licensing makes it easy to see a return on your work. And Canvas Dashboard allows you to track how much you are earning. And the next reason, it's totally free. It won't cost you anything to list your content on Canva. Next, you'd be able to reach to over 55 million users, establish your portfolio, and discover and connect with creatives around the world. So. Yeah, doesn't that sound awesome? And if you'd like to learn more info about this, go ahead and 
view their facts or frequently asked questions and hopefully your questions will be answered there. Now we're going to move on to another thing you can do. So that is to use them on your own designs. If you're someone who doesn't want your photos to be used by others and you'd only like to use it for yourself, then that's okay too. You can do that. So instead of searching for photo elements in Canva, you can actually go to the uploads button here. Go ahead and click on upload files and upload your photos. And once you successfully upload them, they'll appear over here you can choose to use it as your background. You just go ahead and click on it or drag it to the page. And then if you want to set it as background, right click on it and click on set image as background from the drop down. And there you have it. You finally have a background image. So another thing you can do is you can also insert um, your photos into other elements. Say for example a frame element. Let's try to look for frames, graphics, and choose whatever frames you'd like to use. Let's go ahead and use this one instead. Resize it however you want. Go back to uploads and select the photo you'd like to insert, click and then drag it to the element. Oh, I guess this one doesn't work. Let's try another one. Frame. Maybe we should go for this one. Click on uploads, drag. It's not working for some reason. Let's try to refresh our page. Let's try to choose another frame because the frames that we chose earlier are unfortunately not working. So let's once again choose a photo that we'd like to insert and then drag it into the frame and there you go. So basically that's it for today. We hope you found today's video of help somehow and we thank you so much for watching we hope to see you in our next video have a good day